The most universal mode of communication for animals is sound. Vocalizations are very important for species who live like the, many of the primates, they live in the forest, so the, the vis visibility is very low. So if you cannot see each other, then vocalization is a wonderful way of communicating. Or elephants who communicate over long distances uh, with uh, their low frequency vocalizations. In the animal world, each species uses a mode of vocalization that is specifically adapted to their living conditions. Elephants, for example, live spread out over vast zones of the savanna. Their rumbling and deep guttural groans contain low frequencies that can be carried over several miles. These calls are practically inaudible to the human ear. What do the sound waves contain? What information do elephants exchange among themselves? Acoustician Angela Stöger at the University of Vienna has made it her mission to find out. They communicate a lot. So they have to coordinate their movements, they have to find each other, they have to stay in contact when they are separated. They have this extensive greeting ceremonies when they come together and meet again. And all this is supported, strongly supported by their vocalizations. And that's why communication elephants is so interesting and so important. Here in the Addo Elephant National Park in South Africa, Angela Stöger is examining how the Nature Reserve's 750 elephants use their calls to remain in contact over the park's 4,000 hectare surface area. The females live in families, while the males wander around in solitary fashion. However, they come together to reproduce. Angela is interested in the communication that takes place when the males and females make contact with each other. For a long time, everyone was focusing on the female vocal communication, but males are also very important. They are not the lonely guys that we always thought. They do socialize. They do, of course, get in contact with females, which is important. And so we've been interested, actually, in what kind of information do male elephants extract out of these female vocalizations. <laughs> To find out what a male finds attractive about a female's call, Angela and her colleague, Anton Baotic, want to play different female calls to a young male. When carrying out the experiment, it is important that the young male is absolutely alone and quiet. The researchers use a vast loudspeaker to play the male elephant two different calls. The first call is from a female relative. The second one is that of a stranger from Vienna Zoo called Tonga. Okay, Anton. Okay, Anton, we've never had this bull before. Let's do it. Anton has placed the car with the loudspeaker far away from the elephant, out of his sight. I'll play the familiar female, track number two. In three, two, one. Anton plays the call of the known female to the young male he shows no sign whatsoever of a reaction. Now, it's the turn of the stranger from Vienna. Now I'll play unknown female, Tonga, in three, two, one. The sound was played. The head, he turns towards the speaker already. And here we got a very nice vocal response, a rumble. After in playback experiments, you really know that you have a very strong reaction, and this shows a strong preference, probably a potential strong preference towards this unfamiliar female. And now he is directly approaching the speaker. This approach is a very, very strong reaction because he instantly decides that he will go and search for the female. Then he also lifts up his trunk, you can see, trying to locate the smell of the female. And now he's direct, in a direct line with the speaker. In total, we now tested about 30 males 
And what we found out that the males reacted much stronger, they showed much more interest into the rumbles from unfamiliar females. And this is very important, or we learn a lot out of this, because it shows us that, first of all, they are capable of detecting social information out of a female vocalization. And then why would they prefer stranger females or females that they're not familiar with? Is because they might use this information to avoid inbreeding. Um, it's important to not breed or mate with a sister, with a mother maybe, or a cousin. So, males avoid inbreeding thanks to the vocal recognition of females. Male elephants do spend a lot of time with their females, so they only leave their families when they are about 14 years of age. And that's a long time to learn about vocalizations, to yeah, just being capable of identifying the, the typical signature of their own family. Elephants at least have to be aware of the vocalizations of about 100 to 150 different um, individuals. Oh! <laughs>